What's the crack lads? Is there hype for V3.5? Let's find out. As you can see, the game has been updated down the bottom corner to V3.5. We are bringing it to you. We're going to be bringing you all the updates. I mean, listen, if there are things changed, it's going to be interesting to see what has changed because it seems like they've added a lot of stuff. The live update in progress. If you guys are not at your console, we're going to go through this pretty much from the start when you download V3.5 and see exactly what's in there, what's included. So first off, we do have a new Epic Romario. People were saying this was going to be free. I pretty much knew it wasn't going to be free. Um, they usually kind of release cards like this uh, when, you know, they have them in either a big box of players or else a small box of selection of players. So you can see here that this is going to be a Romario. It's probably your best ever chance to get Romario uh, because of the fact that he's in a box of 50 as far as I know. But we'll take a look at him in a second. We'll take a look at his stats as well. Well, they've also added a lot of new epics into the database. So that's going to be interesting as... Time goes on before the Euros. I think that we're going to get a lot of stuff happening in the Euros. Um, you can see there that the rest of them, the rest of that trailer is just the normal legends. You still have your login bonus. That hasn't been changed. You get Romario as an early update bonus. So that is basically going to be a free spin in the box. Um, it's not going to be the free Romario. So once you go in here and you actually get your uh, early Romario bonus as well as everything else, you will get a free spin. So once we go back in here now, we can actually try that out and see if we can spin him or whatever. But listen, this Romario box is in a box of 50 players. We also have the cards here. You also have these re-releases, which are the national showtimes. You've got Fritz, you have got Enzo Hernandez, and you got Sabazlai. These cards here, they have been out before. Um, you saw a selection of these have been out before. Slightly tweaked stats here and there. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, yes. You know, these cards have been out before. I... I I honestly don't think that these cards are that good, to be honest with you. I think for where the game is at at the moment, we'll go into a little bit more detail on those, especially for newcomers. If you've never spun for these before, similar cards have come out before. So it's, it's kind of a thing where if you have spun for these cards before, it's going to be pretty much a skip, I would say. We also have, of course, the new player of the week. We will do a full review of the player of the week. That's not a problem whatsoever. We will do that as well. Um, but I feel like that these cards here, you've got Zhao Felix, you've got Palmer, and you've got Maitland Niles, as, Maitland Niles. As well as that, you also have another booster here with Doku. Um, and you have Kimmich here as well. Uh, Gordon is there. You've got Niles. You've got Martinez, Shuamine. Uh, there's a couple. Kimmich there is, you know, is a fairly decent player. We already had a version of him last a uh, couple of weeks, but there is a nice few card selections there, I would say. Palmer is going to be an interesting one. We'll do a full review of his his card as well. He's got the booster, and obviously he's gone on wavering form. He's got good pace, good acceleration, but his balance is the killer for this card, I think, as an attacking midfielder, especially when you've got such brilliant attacking midfielders in the game right now as well. We also have the Spanish League attackers ongoing, so it's only these two packs, and then obviously this Romario pack as well. If you spin Romario in your free spin and you get him, it's going to be nice. But this card here, I think even though he does have a booster, his booster is shooting plus two. I do feel like that the card is probably lacking where the new booster is. Obviously, he's got 31 levels. He's got, you know, 34 uh, years of age Romario. Lovely player skills. It's Romario. I mean, you know what he's like. But now that Saviola has entered the ring, there is more... I think there is more impetus on having a really, like, the best version of Romario. So we'll do a review on him. That's not a problem at all, but it is only 50 spins. We will spin on our live stream for him, maybe. We've got the free spin there as well. The rest of the stuff is just ongoing. There's nothing else being updated. Uh, there was a few more packs that I thought would come, but they haven't come yet. Maybe they'll come on Monday or maybe they'll come next Thursday. No new managers, still the same managers here as well. And on top of that then as well, we just have the rinse and repeat uh you know events and stuff like that right so one thing i want to show you is that they have added this new v3.5 but there is literally no mention of anything tweaked i i don't know man i thought that we would get stuff now i would say that there's been some hot fixes usually what they do is they tweet the gameplay every thursday anyway just tiny tiny things that you might notice unless you're playing a lot lot a lot of the game um, but you can see that they've updated licenses, you know, player photos, manager photos, strips, club emblems, boots, balls, stadium graphics, 
all of the stuff that you see there general fixes applied to eliminate bugs shown below and that's got to do with the blue lock collaboration time attack event final page in the ranking cannot be displayed when input and defensive commands during free kicks the attack and command configurations are implied instead so i feel like that there is no mention of anything gameplay wise we are going to have to go in and deep dive in with a live stream later for a few hours we will be streaming around 11 a.m um but yeah this is a bit this is an issue man because i feel like that we need new tweaks to the gameplay i think that the aggression of the ai i've already mentioned this i'm not going to keep going on about it and there is a couple of known issues there as well just with the time attack event so other than that lads it's 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 mostly kind of other stuff that they've added here there has been a lot of new epics i'm going to do a video and we'll go over this in the live stream as well in more detail because it'll take a bit more time they've added a ton of new epics you can see here there's a couple up on the twitter over here um but yeah they've added a lot of new stuff that you can go through here uh obviously you know you've got another version of the kimmy that was here the felix the eze um there's our sorry doku to shuameni their cards are already out so cole palmer so from going from left to right here at the top you do have uh kimmy and shuameni and felix and doku and palmer all released and then you also have a couple down here that we're going to see, like new Davids, new Kaka, new Iniesta, new Torres. These are all going to be new boosters. David Villa, Young. Uh, you finally have Philip Lamb, who's been rumored to come this week as well. Philip Lamb is here. You've got Romario down there. You've got Torem down at the bottom right. Diego Forlan, Dennis Law. There's a lot of new boosters that are going to be re uh, coming or re-released. Not re-released. These are going to be new cards. Frank Ribery there as well. That's going to be another nice one. It looks to be tied in. Two, I would say that what they're going to do is they're going to have these tied in, especially uh, Frank Ribery and Torres and Casillas and Iniesta. They're going to be all tied in. Obviously, Iniesta and Torres are probably going to be for when they won the World Cup. Um, and then, you know, Frank Ribery obviously is there as well in his French jersey. So uh, Puyol the same. So there's a lot, a lot of new cards that are going to be coming. There's even more than that, but we'll go into that as well. Um, but yeah, boys, that is pretty much it, man. There's the rest of the events and stuff here they haven't really mentioned anything else with the events like they just have the normal rinse and repeat events team plays back liga bva is here as well brazilian clubs golden goal and spanish clubs obviously from ongoing from monday these are new and then the versus the ai you've got your mexican clubs here with your free spin you've got your brazilian clubs with your free spin you've got your spanish clubs that we have been playing since last monday so there's nothing else new there um in terms of the events which is a little bit of a pity i'm a little bit disappointed they haven't mentioned gameplay tweaks but i do feel the gameplay will be slightly different over the next couple of weeks um and especially for the next big update other than that there's nothing else in the banners here we still have all the campaigns ongoing pep and jabilons are still the only two managers there's nothing else really there um apart from those events that i showed you there's nothing new in the shop there's nothing new in the eFootball point store there's nothing new anywhere here uh with strips or anything like that so yeah let me know what you guys think obviously i was expecting v3.5 to kind of come out and say right look we've toned down the defense we've added this we've added that um but it looks to be more of kind of a stopgap type uh update really to kind of set the stage with the database and set the stage for what's going to be coming with v3.6 which i think will be fairly a fairly beefy update i think the next big update is going to be probably within the month maybe the end of the month or else early next month um but let me know what you guys think we'll be live streaming later that is everything brought up to date of course you can continue to do the daily game as well let me know what you guys think of this and i will see you in the chat later in the stream so yeah we'll see you then